the previous uh, discussion we showed or rather asked you to show that this angle here which is angle R E S is also theta and that's easy because angle R E S is 90 degree minus so this is 90 90 degree minus this angle so suppose angle E R S which is same as 90 degree minus angle ERB ERS and ERB at the same angle it's just naming them differently but notice that this full angle here this is this was 90 degree this full angle was 90 degree angle E so 90 degree so 90 degree minus ERB would be equal to theta that's what our contention is that angle RES is theta so how does that help that helps because it immediately says that triangle ERF is isosceles because the base angles are equal which would mean that these two are if ER, so we found ER equal to RF. Now, we also found that these two angles must be equal. That is angle ERS must be equal to angle FRS. Because the triangles would be congruent. Uh, triangle ERS would be congruent to triangle FRS that we can show using the fact that ER equals to RF theta is uh, equal to theta and 90 is equal to 90 so right angle uh, angle side angle congruency this is this can be shown by angle side angle congruency you can try to show this on your own as an exercise so these two that would mean that angle ERS which is this one angle ERS is here and angle FRS is here these two angles are equal which would in turn mean that triangles ERB is congruent to triangle FRB so this is also as an exercise you can try this is SAS congruency which would finally mean that this angle that is angle EBR EBR is equal to angle FBR so this is theta okay so we are almost done with the problem because <clears throat> notice that we can actually tell what is theta 1 theta 2 theta and 3 theta 1 theta 2 theta and 3 theta that's actually is a part of a right angle triangle so these three angles add up to 90 degree so 3 theta is 90 degree which means theta must be 30 degrees so the angle down here is 30 degree this is 30 degree and ER this side is half of BC so this is 4 root 3 so we can easily find out EB using the fact that this angle is 30 degree and this side is 4 root 3. So what is EB? So we can easily say that tan of, so you have to use a little bit of trigonometry here, tan of 30 degrees is RE over EB we are interested to find out EB so this is so because AB is twice of EB so let's find that out <coughs> so tan of 30 degrees is 1 by square root of 3 
and RE is we know 4 root 3 and EB is what we want to find out so EB is 4 root 3 times root 3 which is 12 so AB is 24 now if you are wondering if the, this can be done without trigonometry the answer is yes certainly this can be done without trigonometry uh, but you have to work a little bit harder than just a few more angle chasing maybe so that's it for this uh, sequence uh, link in the description has more uh, the other videos in the sequence thank you for watching